with the reigning GLVC Defensive Player of the Week, Amy Oldenburg. Amy, first, congratulations on three wins in Florida and then your award from the GLVC this week. Well, thank you. What was it, you know, down in Florida, first maybe individually, that kind of allowed you to be successful and, and have such a productive weekend down in Florida on the back row? Well, I'd have to say that preseason, it was went very well for everybody and myself including. Um, just working hard every day. Just getting focused before the each game, I'd have to say. How much more comfortable do you maybe feel you know, in your second year, kind of better have a full year under your belt as the libero, and now going into your senior year, you know, with all that experience you've kind of gained over your prior three years. Um, I feel that just being a senior, a leader myself, um, just taking control of what back row mainly. How how do you do that? You know, kind of that taking control. I think people understand the setter and what they do, kind of the offense and say up the hitters, but kind of your role as that leader and, and how that works and what you're trying to accomplish, you know, setting up those other people around you defensively. Um, well, I'm in there a lot more than a lot of other people, so I see what's going on. I'm focused throughout the whole entire game. I know I get used to each serve, so I try to tell other players, you know, hey, this is what's coming at us and try to prepare them since I am prepared for the whole game. <laughs> Three wins down the floor and then another, you know, narrow defeating us number five Central Missouri, the big win against number two Tampa. I want to ask about the Tampa match. You know, you guys are down two sets, 2-0 yeah. against the number two team in the country. What were the conversations like in the huddle amongst you guys as teammates, <laughs> you know, to come back and just what was that feeling like to come all the way back and get that, that big win? Um, it kind of just hit us up like, oh, we're going to win this game. Like going in like the fifth match and we're ahead and it's like, we got this. Like, just the confidence in us, I felt like the whole entire game. The first two games, not so much, which you could tell, but the last three is confidence, I'd have to say. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys, you know, being around, I mean, you're a confident bunch to begin with. You <laughs> went to Florida confident. But to come back with the results you came back with, how much more confidence did you gain just by how well, as a collective team, you guys played in Florida? And how much more confident do you feel now you know, having some of those results under your belt. Um, it's nice to have a first start of the season with coming out, not with a loss for the first game, but the three wins kind of like left us leaving the tournament, just confident in general. So. How do you think, you know, after kind of one weekend, the chemistry of this team is kind of, you got to play some exhibitions, but then to really get out there and just overall, you know, from your vantage point, you know, being out there as often as you are, just how does it, you know, how do you think the team kind of looks in front of you when you're setting them up with those passes for them to attack the other team? Um, I feel that, like, our chemistry together, like, as soon as we got through the first week of preseason, pre you could actually tell that we did have chemistry as a team. And so it kind of, like, we all clicked together, so it works out. <laughs> you guys have another big weekend this weekend heading to Finley for four more matches, including three other Midwest region teams. What does the mindset of the team, what are you guys talking about, uh, looking to maybe improve upon as a team going in here to Finley this weekend? Um, we're working hard in practice every day. Coach comes in, we're working hard, we're working harder, we're out now. So it's kind of nice to just feel we're starting over this weekend, kind of we got to go out with big wins. How much, uh, you know, you got looking forward to this weekend, you know, the opportunity you get two more Elite Eight teams on the schedule, you know, in Hillsdale, I know a team that I think a lot of you returners probably yes. want the opportunity <laughs> to play again. Wheeling Jesuit, that weird match last year where we didn't yep. finish, like, you know, a chance to play, <laughs> a chance to play them again. Just, is this a weekend, you know, you're looking forward to these matchups? And oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, every team we play, we're looking forward to just playing at all, like Hillsdale especially. I mean, last year in regionals, we could... Couldn't come out with a win, but this year I believe that just with the chemistry of the team, we're going to do well. So we'll end on this. What do the Greyhounds need to do to go to Finley this weekend and hopefully come back with four more wins? Just stay focused the whole time. Work hard during practice this week, and we can do it. Amy, thank you very much, and good luck this weekend at Finley. Thank you.